All right, today we're going to take a look at this uh, DVD player. We're going to see what's inside it and what makes it work. Uh, there are several key components to this. We'll be looking at the power supply, the uh, control board, and the uh, CD tray, as well as the, the laser itself and the uh, external housing. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this seat DVD player is actually very low cost. You can buy it for less than thirty dollars and uh, the way they've been able to reduce the cost is part of it is that the the actual chips inside it needed to make it run have come down in price and uh, part of it is that they've been able to simplify the uh, components on the board tremendously there we go all right take a look at the insides there this this piece of metal is uh, again was just a flat sheet it was run through a press which uh, uh, created these tabs here and the tabs lock in uh, the the housing under the front part and then uh, also it also had these uh, indentations stamped in it so the screws would sit flush and then uh, the holes were punched in it and it was folded okay so you can see inside the DVD player here I do have it plugged in never safe to plug in an electronic device when it is open so do not try this at home unless you have a uh, professional with you but uh, I did want to show you what happens when the seat the DVD or the CD gets pulled into the player and kind of how it how it works so what's gonna happen is the tray is gonna come in and you'll see this back plate here lower down to make room for that tray and then you'll see it spool up and then the DVD, then the laser will move across, or the uh, the laser assembly will start sliding across the DVD, and you'll see that happen here. So uh, you can see the power's on, the in, uh, LED indicators here. I'm going to go ahead and close the uh, tray to bring it in, and then um, press play, and you can see it spool up there. And what's happening is power is being fed from this board here all the way over to the control board and then the control board is telling the motors what to do and gathering information from the laser and then it's sending it to these ports here which go out to your TV and show up as a signal we're going to uh, try and remove the uh, front panel of this unit there we go All right. so the front panel uh, Basically, it's a, an injection molded plastic piece. Um, it houses the, the slot through which the CD tray comes out of. It also houses a window that the uh, infrared from the remote control can penetrate to tell the thing what to do. And it has a, uh, another little spot for an LED that indicates whether the device is on and, and, uh, or whether it's, it's turned off. And then on the top, there are a number of different buttons those buttons are separate pieces um, molded in there and uh, there's an eject button, a play pause, a stop, and a power button so fairly simple design and uh, the, this piece is probably made out of ABS plastic I don't see an ABS mark on it um, it has these tabs which uh, snap into the rest of the frame and uh, make it uh, easy to attach and uh, fairly fairly low cost there